Okay, so question number three. What are metabolic reactions? Okay, so metabolic reactions can be broken down, broken down. They, um, they can be um, described into two different reactions. The first is catabolic. So catabolic reactions, this is the breakdown of food to obtain energy. Okay, so catabolic reactions are one of the examples of a metabolic reaction. And the second example is an anabolic reaction. So this is kind of like the opposite of catabolic reactions. Anabolic uses energy. Reduced to synthesize larger molecules from smaller ones. So the two kind of go hand in hand, and we require metabolic reactions just so that our body can function. So an example of anabolic reactions, uh, this is when you can have amino acids forming proteins. Okay, so this, these are the two examples of metabolic reactions. Uh, so that's why when someone says, uh, oh, you athletes have a high metabolism, that means they can break down the food fast to obtain energy. And they can also synthesize more proteins uh, faster as well. So the junior tutor said, Metabolic reactions or metabolism is the sum of all chemical reactions happening in the living organism's body. It is either a catabolic reaction, catabolism, or an anabolic reaction, anabolism. And cata <laughs> so ca catabolism is the destructive reaction in the body. That is, it breaks down the food that we eat to produce energy. On the other hand, uh, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Anabolism is the building up reaction in the body. In this process, the body uses up energy to synthesize larger molecules from smaller ones. Yep. So this solution is correct. Thank you.